look at that. I'm going to restore these headlights. I've seen people say use WD-40 or rubbing compound. I'll test both and we'll see if either of these work. Regardless, I'm going to find a way how to restore these and show you the way. Let's go. Let's tape off one side. I'll do one side with WD-40 and the other with rubbing compound. I'll see if I can do this by hand without any power tools and I'll show you the comparison. I'll do this side with WD-40, which this side isn't as bad, but it still has these marks. Spray it on and see if these rough patches come off. The WD-40 did make things clear, but the rough patches are still there no matter how hard I rub by hand. The lights do look clear, but it still has a haze. I'm curious if using a wet cloth, if this will wipe off film from the WD-40. Try to rub this WD coating off. And I'll dry it off. Again, looks better, but still has a haze. Let's see how it compares to the untouched side. Better, but not perfect. Now it's time to do the other side with rubbing compound. The compound I'm using is made by Mothers. I'll just rub this on and put it on heavy. Now the big test, rubbing it off and seeing the results. Looks like it did a little worse than the WD-40 or the same since this side was harder. There is still a lot of room for improvement well, that's not good. For and giggles, I'm going to put the WD-40 on this side and see if there is any improvement. I'll do the entire light again. Wipe it with the damp towel and let's see the result. The marks are still there. No improvement. I can't let this go unaddressed, so I decided to try one of the commercial headlight restoration kits. There are several to choose from, from $12 to $33. So what did I do? I went with the most expensive kit I saw, Mother's New Lens Kit. Not because of the price, but because I think I have an extreme case of foggy headlights. This kit came with a buffer and sanding discs for my drill. Go big or go home. So now I'm going big and go home to try this. Let's see what's in the kit. A sponge buffer, rubbing compound. Of course, I basically repurchased it. The bottle seems different. Directions, a Velcro drill attachment, and a bunch of different grit sandpaper. I can just use the buffer sponge and rubbing compound or go to the directions for the extreme cases like I guess mine is. I'll do the side by side trick to see the difference and see if I can get rid of all this stuff. Time to get the drill and lock and load. The directions say go down through all the different grit pads. We'll start with the 800 grit wet sandpaper. Since this is wet sand, more water. Wipe the water off to see what we're looking at. 
We'll take the 800 grit off and go with the 1500. very foggy. Next, the kit comes with a 3000 grit dry sand sponge pad. Definitely at this point, the headlight does not look good, but let's keep going. The last, the buffing sponge and the rubbing compound goo. You have to start the drill slow, otherwise the goo will fly off. Time to start buffing. A few moments later. Wipe this off and see how it looks. That actually looks pretty good. The marks in the haze are gone. I feel a lot more confident now. Time to do the entire light. Eight hundred grit done. Now fifteen hundred. Now three thousand. Buffer with goo. Look at that. All the marks are gone. The Mother's New Lens product kit is pretty good. It definitely made it easy with the drill attachment and the different grit sandpaper. I'll leave a link in the description how to get this product. Finally, success. Bottom line, WD-40 and just rubbing compound might work in mild cases, but for some more extreme, you need to take it to sandpaper and buff. Before I leave you, let me know if this helps by giving me a thumbs up and subscribe.